Hi, so in this video we are going to handle a problem, a slightly tricky problem based on geometrical progression. As you can see, I have already noted down the problem statement. Statement says, divide 183 into three parts in GP such that sum of the first and third is 2 1 by 20th times the second. Right? So suppose the three terms in GP are A, AR, and a r square where a is the first term and r is the common factor right and if somehow we can find the value of a and r we can find all these terms right so what they are saying we have to divide 183 into three parts in gp so suppose these are the three parts which are in gp and they together will be equal to 183 right this is the first equation and the second part of the statement says that these parts are in such a way that sum of the first and third, that means a plus a r square is equal to 2 1 by 20 times the second and second term is a r, right? This will lead us to a second equation. Let's solve it further. So from left hand side we can take a common. And inside the bracket, we will have 1 plus r square. This will be equal to, if I convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction, it will be 20 multiplied by 2, 40 plus 1, 41 by 20 a r. And both sides we have a, so this a will cancel this a. And if I multiply the whole equation by 20, we will get 20 plus 20r square is equal to 41r, right? Or if we rearrange the terms, we can write 20r square minus 41r plus 20 is 0. And let this be our equation number 2, right? And if we see our equation number 2 properly, it is actually an quadratic equation, right? So let's factorize this quadratic equation, what we have to do? Yes. First, we have to find the product of the coefficient of r square and the constant term and it is 20 multiplied by 20 is 400, right? And what we have to do next? Next, we have to find its factors in such a way that by adding those two factors, we should get minus 41, right? This 400 is a positive number. So, both its factors can either be positive or negative, right? So since we have minus 41 over here, it suggests that both its factors will be negative. So let's factorize it first and then we will put minus sign in front of those factors, right? So if we divide it by 2, 2 to the 4, 0, 0 and again it is divisible by 2, give the quotient as 100 and again if I divide it by 2, I'll get 50 and Again, if I divide it by 2, I'll get 25, right? So, two factors of 400, which gives us 41, if we add them, are 2 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, that is 2 to the power 4, which is 16, and 25, right? 16 multiplied by 25 gives us 400, and at the same time, if I multiply minus 16 by minus 25, then also I'll get plus 400, Right? So since here we have minus 41, I'll use this set of factors of 400. Right? So the factors will be minus 16 and minus 25. And if we add minus 16 and minus 25, we'll get 41. So this equation can further be written as 20r square minus 16r minus 25r plus 20 is equal to 0. Right? And if I group them like this, from first group I can take 4r common leaving behind 5r minus 4. And from second group if I take minus 5 common, inside the bracket we will get 5r minus 4. And this whole will be equal to 0, right? From here we will get 5r minus 4, if I take this common, I'll have 4r minus 5 inside another bracket 
and this will also be equal to 0, right? So from here we can get the value of r. Any one of these factors can be 0. So if 5r minus 4 is equal to 0, I'll get r is equal to 4 by 5, right? And if I have 4r minus 5 equal to 0, from here we will get r is equal to 5 by 4, right? So what we have got? We have got the value of r as either 4 by 5 or 5 by 4. So I'll note down the value of r over here. r is either 4 by 5 or it is 5 by 4, right? And we have one relation over here. It says a plus a r square is equal to this, 2 1 by 20 a r. Right? So, if I put this value of a plus a r square in equation number 1, I think we can find the relation between a and r. Right? So, before I do that, let me erase our calculation. So, if I simplify the right hand side of this equation, this mixed fraction can be converted into improper fraction and it will be 20 multiplied by 2, that is 40 plus 1, 41 by 20 a r right and if i substitute the value of a plus a r square as 41 by 20 a r a whole equation number one can be converted in terms of a r right and it will become 41 by 20 a r plus a r is equal to 183 and if i take a r common inside the bracket i'll have 41 by 20 plus 1 is equal to 183 right and this will be equal to a r multiplied by 20 will be the LCM and this will be 41 plus 20 is equal to 183 right or from here we can get a r is equal to 183 multiplied by 20 divided by 41 plus 20 is 61 61 ones are 61 and 61 threes are 183 so ar we get is equal to 60 right so the value of a will be equal to 60 by r but we have got two values of r one is 4 by 5 and second is 5 by 4 so from here the value of a will be equal to if i take 4 by 5 the value of a will be equal to 60 divided by 4 by 5 this is equal to 60 multiplied by 5 by 4 4 ones are 4 4 ones are 4 4 fives are 20 and 15 multiplied by 5 is 75 right so if the value of r is 4 by 5 the value of a is 75 right and if value of r is 5 by 4 the value of a will be equal to 60 multiplied by 4 by 5. 5 ones are 5, 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10. And 12 multiplied by 4 is 48. Right? So these are the two values related to r and what we have to find next. Next we have to find those three terms. Right? So we have got the value of a and value of r. Let me erase all these calculations. We have got the value of a. And value of R and if I take this set first these three terms will be 75 next term will be a R that is 75 multiplied by 4 by 5 5 ones are 5 5 ones are 5 5 fives are 25 15 multiplied by 4 is 60 and third term will be a R square that is 60 multiplied by R, which is 4 by 5, 5 ones are 5, 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10, that is 48, right? So in first case, I am getting values as 75, 60 and 48, right? And if I take the second case, the values will be, first value is A, that will be 48 and second value will be 48 multiplied by R and R in second case is 5 by 4. 4 ones are 4, 4 twos are 8, 12 multiplied by 5 is 60 and the third term will be a r square that is a r multiplied by r or the second term multiplied by r so it will be 60 multiplied by 5 by 4, 
4 ones are 4, 4 ones are 4, 4 fives are 20 and this will be equal to 15 multiplied by 5 that is 75, right? So if I take the second group which is this one, again I am getting the same set of terms. Only thing is order is changing, right? First term over here is 48, second term is 60 and the third term is 75. So those three terms in geometrical progression will be 48, 60 and 75, right? So this is the solution.